Stars. Gilly here, and I'm back in the kitchen to serve up some piping hot Starcraft fan art. If you haven't seen part one yet, here's a link to go check it out. But in the meantime, ready your forks for this week's Craft Stars. Can't pick a race? Let your taste buds do the choosing. Reddit or Kylie Chew is here to help make your next match a sweet success with a couple dozen themed treats. So pick your favorite and hit the ladder. Or maybe the gym. Or in my case, probably the couch. But if cupcakes aren't your cup of cake, don't worry. Peyota's Kitchen brings us something to keep you satisfied. And if you pull SCBs, pretty safe too. While this bunker might be salvaging challenged, who would want to? As a testament to Terran creativity and tastiness, its quality is unmatched. I just hope it's full of little fondant marauders to withstand the onslaught of our next craft star. If there's one thing I know about sprinkles, it's that they're the siege tanks of food. They can cover a wide area, don't cost a lot, and end up splashing everything except what you want. So the fact that the aptly named Redditor Zergy Monster made a discernible Zerg logo out of the things makes him some sort of culinary grandmaster. Knowing that, I wouldn't put it past him to have goo-filled the Baneling cupcakes so they explode with authenticity. But if not, he could probably adapt the recipe for spotting pool slime used by our next duo of craft stars. Style SC2 and his girlfriend morphed this delicious looking Zerg cake one afternoon to get the swarm started with its tier one production. Its uncanny accuracy almost makes this more model than treat. But lemonade gelatin and dark chocolate cake is pretty hard to, hey, that was my slice. While I track down who took my piece of production structure, I'll let you enjoy this edible queen of blades construction by For the Love of Cake. Facebook or Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe for your weekly buffet of tasty fan art. See ya!